hello and welcome to Voice of the Fat Mantis and my trailer reaction to the She-Hulk on Disney Plus series which should be coming out on August 17th. This is going to be a tough one. This has been a series that they've actually pushed back. She should have predated, I think, both Moon Knight and Miss Marvel. As It actually got reversed, where it should have been She-Hulk, Miss Marvel, then Moon Knight. There's been a couple of rumors behind the scenes about She-Hulk in the first place. The first one was that they're having trouble with special effects. Now, judging by other Disney products, different, di different Disney shows... I would not be surprised if that's the case. I was very unimpressed with the Moon Knight special effects. And She-Hulk requires way more. Like, absolutely. We're talking about an entire CGI main character. But there's also the passing of the actor who plays Thunderbolt Ross. And so I understand that there was a huge plot line about him becoming Red Hulk in this. And since he died when it was unfinished... They, I don't know how they went to correct it, but they had to really do some new scripting and, and switching things up. And before we do the sensational She-Hulk thing, I'm asking you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and do whatever it is that you do with these videos. Because I love your support, your engagement, whatever you need to do, make it happen. Because I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here to, to respond to your madness, so please bring the thunder. But why don't you guys watch the trailer with me, and we are going to start right about now. Being a superhero is a trial by fire. Who's going to protect the world if not people like you? I'm Jennifer Walters. I'm a lawyer. I have great friends. Can we get some shots, please? It's an emergency. A demanding job. We just started a superhuman law division, and I want you to be the face of it. And a frustrating family. Because we didn't ask for this, but you still got to deal with it. Your transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. Oh. Bruce, kind of feels like if I don't transform, I'm gonna die. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. I just want to be a normal, there. anonymous lawyer. Can you tell us where She-Hulk is? Jen, you're a story now. Whoa. Your ass looks crazy right now. Oh my god, she's you Fiona. An Avenger. Oh, she's I'm not Fiona from Shrek. That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some oh, reason. Oh, those eyes on Kenny Valley. What is them? Is there anything more depressing than dating in your 30s? Yeah, this is the best date I've had in a while. Oh. Should we split some fries? Let's get those to go. Okay, that was a funny joke. That definitely ended on the strength of a funny joke. Um, she looks like Fiona from Shrek. That is really bad special effects. Now, they do have about two or three months, probably like three months, to correct this issue. But can they do it? Can they actually pull that off? I, I think that it's not just like bad special effects. It is atrocious special effects. She and she actually the eyes when she was at dinner with her friend it was the longest shot that we had on her face. Her eyes are, uh, you know, it was it's the Polar Express happening all over again. And so I don't know what what they're thinking on this one. Most of the show is gonna be a CGI person. So are we talking about? Is this gonna be a cartoon? Her and Hulk. It's basically an animated series. So why didn't they just say that? Just make a 3D animated series and just cut straight to the chase. Um, not liking this. I, I feel bad for Tatiana Mussolini. Uh, this is, she's such an amazing actress. She deserves so much more than what they're bringing to our th table. Now, because of the coof, you know, the pandemic and everything like that, a lot of special effects companies had a lot of trouble. Just made, They had a lot of problems during this thing. And not only that, budgets for special effects are going over the top. People do super crunch. I think you probably in the video game industry has heard about the crunch. It's ten times worse for, for movie and, and, and show special effects. Everyone's expected to, on the cheap, do incredibly fantastic special effects. Bad special effects are the first thing that pull people out of movies, so they will often 
be the first thing to be complained about. Notice that's what I was complaining about. I did like the joke at the end, but the fact that she moves clunkily, it doesn't even look like they were doing mocap. Didn't have mocap food because she didn't move like a human. She also moved uncannily. Like, this is not... This is weird. This is like what happened if, like, the Facebook chatting AI decided to direct a Marvel show. This is... Serenity now. Serenity now. I'm cool. I'm okay. I got it. Did I ever tell you She-Hulk was my favorite female superhero? I didn't. Well, she is. Let's hope that remains that way. You know what? No matter what, whatever hack job Disney's going to do to it, I'll still always love her and her comic book. The real question is, what did you guys think about it? Please let me know down in the comments. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. And keep tuning in to Voice of the Fat Mantis so we can see what's going on with She-Hulk. I'm still going to review every episode. Unless it gets really bad and then I bail. I, you know, I'll have an, a, you know, hit that eject button. But let's talk about it. Let's chat about it. Let me know your thoughts. Until next time. Ciao. For now. Yeah.